welcome to class 5 mathematics classes today we are going to understand perimeter and area of few figures so the word perimeter perimeter means the total length of the boundary line okay like so, uh, square if we take as an example so here is a square so here four line segments are bounded together okay it is a closed figure and AB line AB is equal to line BC and BC is equals to CD and DA is equals to AB that means all four lines are equal in the case of square and the perimeter means from A to B plus from B to C plus from C to D and plus from D to A that means the total length of the boundary is the perimeter okay this is same for every figures okay like rectangle rectangle if we take so this is a rectangle okay where opposite sides are equal line AB is equals to C D and AC this AC and this BD these two are equal so such a figure is called as an is called as a rectangle okay and the perimeter of this is also same AB plus BD plus DC plus AB sorry AC okay now formula here four line segments are equal so to find perimeter we can multiply 4 into the length of one side suppose the length of one side is x so that means this also x this also x this also x so the perimeter of square will be 4 into x x is the side or you can write x as s also here in rectangle this longer one is called as length and this shorter one is called as breadth okay so the perimeter of rectangle is 2 into length plus breadth okay there are two lengths and two breadths so length plus breadth two times is the perimeter of the rectangle okay now we'll discuss about area okay before area let us see triangle perimeter of a triangle suppose this is a triangle okay it can be any triangle isosceles triangle equilateral triangle hmm, scalene triangle you have heard these names of triangles so let it be any of that angle that triangle so here a triangle is made up of three line segments a b b c and c a here also the total length okay if we add the length of a b and a c and b c then we'll get the perimeter of the triangle okay so here perimeter of the triangle will be a b length of a b plus b c plus c a or a c you can say so this is the perimeter this is the perimeter this is the perimeter this is the perimeter of triangle now area let us discuss area okay at first let us consider a square this is a square okay where each and every sides are equal to each other okay so we have to find the area means this this the space occupied by the 
object okay is the area so here so here now this is a suppose okay the area of the square is a into a okay that is a is square suppose here the side length is 2 cm then 2 cm into 2 cm is 4 cm square okay now rectangle rectangle the area this is the length and this is the breadth to find the area of the rectangle we have to multiply length and breadth so area will be length into breadth okay so in this manner we can find the area of this geometrical figures to find the area of a triangle we'll discuss in another class